Yeah. Change zoom. Yeah, I don't like the zoom. No, go back. I'm, like zoom it all the way back. Step away. Yeah. You don't want to see what's below and under. Do, do, do. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I'm nervous. That's what I have to go through right now. I am so nervous. I don't want to do this, but I have to. So that's the JJ. <laughs> that's the cervix. Okay. That's the ovary. No. That's the your whatever I lining. That's the uterus. And that's the fallopian tube where they're going. Way over oh. yonder. <laughs> Because that show, I'm, I'm gonna, not getting pregnant. Just because you told me that show, I'm Listen, gonna deny it. I have enough kids, okay? So what's going on here now? The rest of my life. Oh yeah, guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. That's it. Okay, let's be serious now. <laughs> Don't turn it around the way it was. Well, I don't know. We screamed last time. Okay. This video, not to get serious, is actually to help women out there that have no idea what an IUD is or have an idea of what it is, but they want to get it and, and they're scared of the procedure. They're not sure if it's 100% accurate or, ac what is it called? Accurate. Accurate, like it's gonna work and it's mm -hmm. not gonna allow you to get pregnant. I've heard horrible stories about the IUD actually moving inside you when you're getting, <clears throat> the, per the woman getting pregnant. I am nervous as hell because I don't like getting any procedures done, especially something going up in me. So, um, yeah, we just have to wait for the doctor. I'm gonna ask some really valid questions. Hopefully that'll answer the questions that you have as well. So we're just gonna wait for the doctor and then we're gonna come right back as soon as the doctor's here. You know, when it comes to the IUD insertion, you know, you know it's a great form but birth control it can help uh, control bleeding as well, like for periods. A lot, you know, twenty to twenty-five percent of women won't even have a period. Why? Thank God, because I so. haven't had my period in like four years, okay. and I love it. Um, do you? I'm trying to think. Do you, I can't remember if you have children or not. Yeah, we have three. Three, and you had them naturally. Naturally. Mm -hmm. um, I was just looking at your chart. They're gonna. I ha I'm gonna have my MA come in and update just a couple of things, so we have your full history in the chart. Okay. So, um, when we do an IUD insertion, I always call it three ouches of the IUD insertion. Um, it takes ouches? About, I call them ouches. Ouches is not a bad thing, right? I'm about to fly out this window right now. <laughs> that would be a really bad ouch. That would be a different ouch. So, <laughs> so when it comes to it, the reason I say that because there can be a little bit of cramping, and I want you to you have a fair expectation of what to expect, right? Okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So the first thing we'll do is replace the speculum. Mm -hmm. After we place the speculum, I'll clean the cervix, mm -hmm. and then after that, the first ouch that I call is I just I grab the cervix just so I can hold the uterus in place when I do the placement. Okay. okay. So it feels like a pinch. I'll let you know. Okay. And then I measure the length of the uterus and then I place the IUD. Okay. That takes about 60 seconds. Okay. okay? Um, one of the reasons why I call them the three ouches, I, I, we can always count to three and be done, right? So mm -hmm. it helps uh, hopefully you. As you go through the IUD placement, you can say, okay, that was one, this is two, now we're three, we're done. It's the so last one. For me, yeah. mentally, yeah. I think it helps you know patients kind of deal with an uncomfortable situation, yeah. especially with the expectation, right? Yeah. The key thing about this procedure as well is that um, if anything is too much or uncomfortable, we stop, we wait, we take a moment, right? So there should never feel at any point in time an obligation to continue to or go, keep going if it's too uncomfortable for you. Mm -hmm. um, I should have taken a shot before this. <laughs> okay. you, you can always take some ibuprofen afterwards if you need to. Mm -hmm. um, usually that's the best thing. You know, after it's placed, you'll, you can have some irregular bleeding or cramping. Um, you know, How long does that last? It can be a month or two. You the know, whole, the it, whole month, like bleeding? Not bleeding, it can just, that irregularity can last during that time. Is it like spotting when I go to the bathroom or is it like so, actual bleeding? So usually it's more just like spotting. Spotting? Okay, I can handle that. Yeah, so spotting. Um, you know, one thing about an IUD insertion, I think we may have talked about it before, but you know, anytime you do a procedure on the uterus, there's always a small risk you could in injure the uterus. Um, the biggest risk would be, it's about one in a thousand, okay? So okay. it's not a high risk, um, but it is something just to be aware of, ways that we prevent it. 
if we have resistance or force, you know, we don't force anything, right? Mm -hmm. and then, so like if it doesn't work, you just won't do it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, if I have resistance, I don't force it. Or that's one of the reasons why we measure the length of the uterus is so we know not to push too far, mm -hmm. right? And so, uh, Busy man. No, that's how it's usually like yeah. So, um, so yeah. So you know, at, at the end, you know, we'll I'll have you come back in a month just to check in how you're doing. Okay. Um, we do what's called a string check. So when we do the IUD, the IUD will sit inside the uterus like this. Here, show that part. Real quick, so and so, and then the string will come out and just sits in the back of the of the vagina okay. but that's how we monitor it so when you have an exam you can see the um iud string there okay? okay so it's not that it's not what i showed you then but so. he won't be able to see it though right? he, no you know, right, he's like right there he won't be able to see it the string yeah no it, so the strings are going to be all the way in the back of the vagina so okay. you, the only way you would be able to see it is if you were to put the speculum into the vagina oh, okay um, yeah, we're not doing all that. What about, uh, like, let's say, for example, instead of just spotting, I start bleeding a little bit, like temporarily, which I hope I don't. Um, would I be able to use a tampon? Because mm -hmm. that pads don't work for me. No, that's fine. We just have this. It's just easier. Um, but I don't have a problem with the tampon. With the tampon, so it's not going to, like... The, the only main thing sometimes, I mean, I, I've had one or two patients say that when they've taken the tampon out, they thought it caused the IUD to come out. I've never seen that before, but that's the one thing I've had a patient tell me before. Um, okay. But that would be really... That's like one in a thousand, too? I don't know. That's one I've never seen before. I just heard someone <laughs> say that once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's just hard because you put something up there. I mean, could the string get in the tampon and get entangled? Sure. But generally not, in my experience. Because, I mean, I don't think the tampon goes, like, way up there anyway, right? Yeah, you'll be okay. It's yeah. like, it's, there's a spot, like, where it just stops. Right. So it doesn't... So the thing you were more worried about last night was... Yeah. Yeah, it no, moving. I don't want to be rude and interrupt no. him, so I just, he's given really good information right now. But I do have a concern. So, I guess apparently Google can listen to us, and <laughs> we were talking about it the other night, and it just popped up on my feed on YouTube. It was a show, and sh this woman ended up getting pregnant. She, here she had an IUD in her. Yeah, so then she said that apparently, like, during sex or whatever, I don't know what happened, but the IUD moved, and then she got pregnant. That's my biggest concern right now. Like, I can deal with the pain and stuff. Like, I'll kick and scream, and I get it over with. But physically, she can't get pregnant. Her I doctor can't. told her she, yeah. she did it again. My OB doctor told me if I get pregnant, I'm going to die with a baby. You know, I always joke, the only true way to make sure you, you don't get pregnant is not to have sex. Right. And so... I'm keeping my legs closed. I'm going to have them zip me up and everything. I mean, you don't have a procedure for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll pay you. Um... The IUD is 99.5%, right? So it's about as effective as almost tying your tubes, right? So it's about as effective a form of birth control that you can have. You know, the main thing is making sure you wait at least seven days before having unprotected intercourse. Okay. Um, if you were to, in the rare instance, get pregnant on the IUD, you just need to let me know immediately because the, the first worry I would have is making sure that it's not in the fallopian tube. Because the overall risk of having a pregnancy and the broken tube of an IUD is greater. And so, um, if the IUD is there, okay, so that would be the main thing. But again, it's very, very rare. I mean, I've only seen it a couple of times in my career. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the reasons why, you know, we'll check up and make sure it's all in the right place, right? Mm -hmm. The way that this IUD works is actually uses a small amount of hormone that thins that lining. So, the likelihood of a pregnancy happening, even if it was a little bit in the wrong position is still pretty good at its functioning because it still has that little bit of hormone and how it works, right? Okay. So, no, it's, I mean, it's a really great form of control. It's a great way to avoid, you know, surgery. Um, I find that most women, over 90% of women are satisfied with it. Um, but, you know, like with anything, there are risks associated with that procedure and it's not 100%, you know, it's 99.5, right? It's pretty good. But there's always that small subset we just have to always keep our antenna out and pay attention for. And if it was discomfort, or she could always say, I don't want to do it and take it out yeah, next so. month or whatever. See, so. And if you're worried about its positioning, we can always do an ultrasound and assess the positioning. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's like my biggest worry. Like, yeah. I can't afford to get pregnant anymore. No, absolutely. I think this is a great option. Cool. Ready? I'm never ready, but I have to do it, I guess. Yeah. Well, I, I have to make sure you, I have your consent. That's the oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm ready because I have to, but I mean, who the hell is ready for Absolutely. a procedure like I, this? I, I agree with you 100%. <laughs>
Nobody wants so. to have a duck and everything else go up on you. <laughs> Guide your feet, okay? Could so. be worse, could be like Ross and playing with it. And <laughs> Come on down this way. Like that. You'll bring your bottom all the way to the edge of the table for me. Uh, check your phone and see if it's the kids texting you. It's like there you go. Perfect. Oh, I'm going to place this underneath your bottom, so let's. Like, sorry, I know it's your. I'm sorry, but I do get jumpy at times. Nope, you're fine. You're, no worries at all. Okay. Nice deep breaths. You're doing okay. Hold my hand. You can stop filming now and then we'll come when I'm done. Yeah, because they don't need all this. That's yeah. good. I need a cigarette after that. I need a cigarette. Yeah. I, need I a know. Whole pack. I need I need to smoke for you after seeing I that. need a whole pack. I need my tequila. My vodka. We'll get her a good shot, whatever you she guys, wants. You guys, I got the IUD done. I don't recommend it. It made me throw up. That's why we had to cut the film. It made me throw up. I got so nauseated and sick to my stomach. I'm in so much pain. It feels like labor pains. Like I'm about to deliver a baby. It's so bad. I'm shaking. My lips are quivering. Um, my whole body is tense. Um, this whole section is so bad. I think it's easier to come out. A lot easier. Oh. I'm gonna try to sit up a little bit, but then I'm scared to move. But then I have—I don't know. No, you said you can move. I know, You're but good. it hurts so. Yeah, you pull on me. You do it. Don't. I'm not touching at all. You pull on me. <sighs> Hold on, guys. Oh, I can't. I can't even put pressure down there with my. Okay, face. so then have him come take it out. I don't. I, I want to give it a chance. I'm no sissy. No, I not. stuck it out. There, there, there was three different times when I almost stopped. No, that's true, you guys, and she did. She's like, oh, I don't want to do it. Stop, stop. No, no, I do want to do it. Just do it. Oh, my God, it hurts. And then she, like, he was doing it, and he could, you know, it's going to hurt. He's going to say it's he about to hurt. He was like, you want me to stop? I'll stop right now. And she's like, yes. And then he went to stop, and she's like, no, I don't want you to stop. Yeah, just go ahead and do it. I told him, just one pop. So she did good. It oh. should start calming down now. Well, they gave me Motrin 800, which is, y'all know me. If you know me from my other channel, you guys will know. I don't take medication for shit. No. Nope. Hardly ever even take Advil. But for Anita asked for Motrin 800 and he gave it to me, I'm in so much pain. I even told him, I said, it feels like I'm about to deliver a, a baby right now. Like my my labor pains came back, and that's what it feels like labor pains. The cramps. If I'd have known this, I would have just. If said, I would have known this, I would have never done it. I would have, ladies, don't. No, well, I mean that's a good educational video. But the pill was killing you, your body. Yeah. No, the shot, the depo shots hurt, not yeah. the pill. Oh yeah, stick to. Or it. get your men snipped. My husband's getting snipped. Yes. Um, I can't even talk. Oh my god, it's so bad. Are you going to have him take it out so you just be over no, with I it? No, I want to try to stick it out. Alright. Well, oh. there goes Pet Smart and Lowe's for today, gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> shit. He told me I might be able to, like, I'll be he able to He said you'd drive. be able to walk and drive and do everything. Yeah, so. He was telling that nurse that, the, the he was telling that in. nurse that lady danced out afterwards. Because she was happy she wasn't going to get pregnant again. Oh. That's what she looks like when she's coming. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Fuck me. And that's what she sounds like. She's <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, this is so bad. Oh. God damn. Like, it calms down for a minute and then goes... The procedure's done too. We're just we're waiting for her to see if she'll be able to handle it because it's fucking bad. It's I'm, so she can handle pain. I've watched her handle pain, and if she's saying that this is bad, you guys, it's bad. And I gave birth three times to my three kids yeah. naturally. Yeah. If I could do that, this is ten times worse. And he said most women walk right out, so maybe it's just because you're such a tiny. Well, girl. he did say that my cervix were kind of small mm -hmm. not small but tight higher too and tight 
I'm not Lucy. I'm not loose down there. Lucky for my husband. Mm. But, oh my God. All right, we'll come back. Yeah, you guys will see if I, I'll let you guys know when I'm done with this. I'm, I just have to suffer without the camera on me. Plus, I don't want to bore you guys with my sex sounds. Yes. So, we're on our way home. I am still not feeling 100%. I'm gonna go home and lay down. I don't feel good. I'm still in pain. I'm nauseated. We were there for, what, almost four hours. I couldn't... I couldn't do anything. I couldn't move. I was in so much pain. They actually brought a wheelchair in my room and they were getting ready to take me downstairs to the hospital. That's how bad it was. So if you ask for my opinion, I do things like this, a lot of crazy things for you guys because I, I want you guys to see how dedicated I am to my channel to helping people out. And a lot of people have asked me, what do you think about the IUD? I've never experienced it before. Use the mind your brain. And I did not want to, I think I'm gonna stick to the pills for now, but I did not want to pass this opportunity just to experience it and then come back and let you guys know. Yes, go ahead and do it or I don't recommend it. And after speaking with one of the nurses, she said that they, I'm not the only one. There's a lot of women that either their body rejects it or they can't handle the pain or whatever. And then almost immediately they have it taken out. In my case, I had them taken out almost immediately. I think I lasted like 30 minutes, if that, with it. But the pain was so bad. I was constantly throwing up. I was dizzy. I was shaking. I was sweating. It was a nightmare. Like, literally, it was fucking... Oops. It was fucking pure hell. And that's something that I don't recommend women to do. So if you want to ask for my opinion, if it's okay to go ahead and do it, you can definitely do it. It's your, you know, your choice. You have your own free will to do what you want. But would I recommend it? Continue. No, I won't. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend the IUD at all. If, unless you want to go through hell, unless you want to go through the pain, I personally don't want it. I mean, I, I was literally like in tears, screaming. The doctor was in with another patient and my pains were so bad to where the nurse had to go, interrupt the doctor, take him out of the other patient's room just so he could come in my room and take it out. And I'm gonna tell you this much, taking it out is almost as painful as putting it in. I mean, I screamed when he was taking it out. It was horrible. This was like literally a nightmare. And I literally thought I was dying. I literally like, I even told my husband, I'm like, I think I saw the fucking light for a minute. And I'm not even kidding, like it was horrible. And no, I don't recommend anybody to do this and to go through what I went through with the IUD. Ladies, I would stick to the pill. What do you think? Yeah, with the pain I saw you go through, absolutely. I would stick with the pill or have your man snipped. There is no other option. I will never, ever, ever go through that again. I can't. It's too much. It's worse when, I know you guys are gonna come and ask me what was the pain like. It was worse than the labor pain. And you guys know how bad labor pains are? Imagine multiplying that, intensifying it by a hundred. Sorry, by a thousand if not more. It was extremely painful and I don't even think that gunshot wound patients go through as much pain as, remember I told you that, as I did. And it's something that I personally 
don't recommend. It's up to you. I mean, if you guys want to do it, you could definitely do it. I just personally don't recommend it. Because of pain and the amount of pain and the hell I literally you went through for you guys, up. I deserve a thumbs up. I deserve thousands of thumbs up. So if you guys could do me a favor, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel because there's a lot more crazier videos that are coming up. Hit the bell notifications. Hit the bell notifications. Thank you. See, I can't even think right now. I'm literally like, I'm still in pain. Like I'm trying to keep it together just so I can make it home and just throw myself on my bed and just go lay down for the rest of the night. Let's get this channel going. Let's get it up. Subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss the crazy videos that I'm going to be posting. It's going to be multiple times a week with new videos. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.